Welcome back in the kitchen. I got a chef recorder cooking show, guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas. Meat free Monday. Every Monday, we normally give you a meat free and give you something which, you know what I mean? You, have to, you don't have to make it on a Monday. You can make it whatever you like to make it, but I normally try to give you something on a Monday. I might switch meat free on a Monday to probably sometime, but let's see what's going on in between. All right. Um, basically, as I said, meat free Mondays and Monday, we now I'm gonna do a lot of meat free recipe. But I'm gonna give you some recipe so you just have to just keep watching and watching and watching till you just get tired. But it's going to be amazing, all right? Stay tuned, follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. My name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you some of the best recipe in this whole entire world. I love every one of you and I respect every one of you. And I thank you so much for your support and for your time watching the beautiful video. Meat free Monday. We're going to be doing a healthy curly K vegetable today. Um, this curly K right here, I know I have too much in the bowl and it's supposed to be doing so much. It's three of us, you know what I mean? Me and the team, and we're going to be doing a curly K stir fry vegetable. Um, if any left back, what I will be doing, I will definitely make a soup from it. All right? We are also gonna make a soup from the rest of the left back to show you that if you have leftover of any of the, this vegetable, you can also blend it up and make a soup and have it even for the next day. Stay tuned and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Please subscribe and nice one. So now we're going to make this lovely stir fry vegetable. All right, now I'm going to put roughly about two tablespoons of oil. You can use light spray oil, but I don't have any at the moment. First thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a medium sized carrot inside of it. So we're going to be going step by step with it. All right. So now what I'm doing is cut up my carrot. All right. So first thing, carrot. So we want to fry out that carrot inside of it. Beautiful. It's gonna be an amazing recipe, guys. Honestly. Secondly, we got two medium-sized tomato. We got red onion. This is red pepper. And that's some yellow pepper. All right. Sprick on it. Smell amazing. Scent marvelous. All right. What I'm going to do is put in my vegetable. This is some curly care. I love it. I love curly care. I don't think any one of you guys love this vegetable like me. All right, that's the vegetable. Yeah, flicking and all them thing there. Let's put a little bit of water, not much. And roughly, we have about, roughly about three tablespoons of sweet corn. We're just gonna put that on top. This recipe, guys, honestly, is amazing. It's just amazing to know what you can do at all with this recipe, all right? That's why I did it this kind of way. Sometimes I would just cut up the vegetable like you guys can see, but I will lay all of the vegetable in the description box. I 
that is some garlic. And my favorite pepper. Little bit of salt. Little bit of soy sauce. You don't have to put much. Just a little bit. Rough about a teaspoon. Good to go. Oh, man. I'll tell you something. This is a vegetable where, honestly, it's just amazing guys to know exactly what the kind of vegetable you guys definitely can eat at home with anything with rice or with, with whatever you have at home you know what i mean and as you can see for yourself this is not like something you know what i mean i've been doing this kind of vegetable for years you know what i mean so i have a lot of experience in this vegetable we'll make it with soup we'll do all sorts of stuff with it and the rest of it what i'm gonna do is simple make up a lovely soup from it guys honestly and you can, as you can see but honestly it's a very healthy vegetable and i know you guys definitely will love this 100 percent just look at that it's amazing I just I just love it honestly as you can see for yourself it's not like you know what I mean it's just amazing trust me guys it's fantastic amazing lovely and nice and I tell you something you guys definitely will be loving this one so we're just gonna leave that for about five minutes on a medium size eat and allow it for it to just keep steaming all the way down all right that's it five minutes and we are good to go Ah, look at that. Beautiful and nice. So what I'm going to do is taste it. Mm, wow, that is amazing guys, I love it. Now, to be honest, you don't want to overcook it, you know what I mean? You just want to give it a nice, lovely, lovely cook. So I'm going to turn off my stove and shear it up now, all right? It's just an amazing recipe. And I honestly, you guys definitely, I know you guys definitely will love this one. So hopefully you guys like the recipe. Please subscribe, leave your comments in the description box. And as I say, ingredients will be in the description box, all right? Thank you for watching. Nice one. So as you can see, I start to shear it up, you know what I mean? It's just beautiful and nice. All right, meat free Monday. This is how we normally do it on a meat free Monday. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful one. So hopefully guys you like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. We have a lot more recipe coming. Rice, the vegetable and a little bit of coleslaw, um, potato salad at the side. It's amazing. Enjoy it, subscribe, please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. We have a lot more recipe coming and a lot more ideas. My name is Chef Ricardo and I always try my best to give you the best recipe in this whole entire world. Anyway, I have a little bit left back and I'm telling you guys, don't go anywhere, still watch. I'm gonna make some soup with the rest to show you. You can make a simple little soup with the rest of the vegetable. All right, stay tuned, I love you all. And don't forget to click the notification bell and please subscribe, stay tuned.
okay nice one guys so basically as you can see I just shear up the vegetable and shear it up on all them things there and it was lovely and nice but I still have a little bit of vegetable left and I want to make a soup from it all right I'm gonna make a soup from the rest of vegetable we have about two servings left out of this so what I'm going to do is add a cup of water all right so that, but I just give you a recipe where you know I mean if you make too much of this kind of things at home you don't have to throw it in the bin because still can use all right now I'm going to put a uh, veg stock inside of it All right, in the meantime, we're gonna just slow this for it to get boiled up and then we're going to blend it. It's just a little tips and ideas I'm sharing with you guys. Eh? If you're at home and you make too much of this kind of vegetable, you can always do something with it, you know? As you can see it for yourself. All right, so my stove is on and this is the rest of vegetable I have left over. I put a veg stock in it, you know what I mean? Because the veg stock gonna bring in a lovely flavor to it. Now, let that make it boil up. Whoa, 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 look at that guys, it is amazing, look at that, beautiful and nice. So, what I did, I make it just boil up for a nice like, uh, 10 minutes, you know, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to simple blend it. You can put it into your blender, or you can use that hand blender and blend it, alright? So that's what I'm going to do now. Stay tuned. Nice one, so basically I just simple put it inside of my blender right here. Blend it and see the good, the good result from it, alright? So look at this. long blending guys honestly but not only that it's just amazing to know the color look at the color it's just all different kind of color the texture the look and everything is amazing what I'm going to do now is pour it back into my pot put it back on the, oven, on the stove for another good 10 minutes and then we're gonna serve it up all right stay tuned well that is lovely guys anyway medium sized pot back on the stove one more time and as I can see I love to blend it this kind of way because it's just give me that look what I'm looking for. Alright. Wow. Look at that man. That is amazing. So as I said guys, if you at home and you know what I mean, say you're at home and you, you make a too much stuff, you don't need to put it into the bin. This is something else you also can do with it at home in a lot of vegetable, a lot of, you know what I mean, any little thing like vegetable leftover you can always make a lovely soup like this so please enjoy the recipe and what we're going to do now is two things you can also 
do with it. You know what I mean? It's just amazing. Look at the soup. Fantastic. Lovely and nice color. And as you can see, a lot of green is in the soup. So it's just really flavor and tasteable at the moment, guys. Honestly. With the sweet corn, you know what I mean? The tomato, everything was just blending inside of the soup. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. It's just amazing. Anyway. We're just gonna make it just boil up for another good five to ten minutes and then we're gonna serve it up. Enjoy it. Nice one. So basically I I could use cream, but this is a little bit more healthy. It's a, some plain corn, coke, corn, Q-U-A-R-K, coke. Alright, and this is what I'm gonna be using instead of using fresh cream because I'm making a very healthy soup. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one, two tablespoons of it inside of it. And we're going to get a nice lovely look. Like, you know what I mean? So, this is like... You can use this for milk, for, if you have a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? If you are a person who are interested in weight loss or uh, you know what I mean all these things you know you can use it instead of use cream you know what I mean because this is a little bit much better honestly wow that is amazing so once that got inside of it I leave it for at least a nice good 10 minutes 5 minutes at least then you are good to go So we're gonna serve it up now in our next five minutes time we will be serving it all right beautiful recipe guys enjoy it nice and lovely guys so basically yeah the soup is ready so what we're going to do is just simple oh, nice one look at that amazing you might see cream a little bit but it's fine pretty good you know what i mean it's just amazing soup guys honestly look at that all you need to do now is have some crouton to go with this and it is amazing please enjoy the recipe subscribe leave your comments in the description box please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend we have a lot more recipes a lot more ideas will be coming from chef recording team and i will definitely see you again see you see you again with more recipe bye bye
nice and lovely guys so basically I have some vegetable left over I did make a vegetarian lasagna and I said to you guys the vegetable left over I'm going to make a soup from it all right so I will put the link in the description box how I make the lasagna the vegetarian lasagna and the rest of vegetable which I have left over this is it I did put it in my fridge and I say you know what I have to make a soup with this guy. It was amazing. It got sweet potato. I got, I'm gonna put the all of the vegetable and which I use. The label of the will be in the description box. So or you can click on the video, my vegetarian lasagna. This is the rest of the vegetable which I put down to make a soup. Alright? Let's jump into it. Nice one. Medium sized spot on the stove. Alright? And all I'm going to do is just create this beautiful. Vegetables. All right. Honestly, it doesn't need nothing. All you need to do is just put in two cups of water. Just put in two cups of water. As you can see, what I'm doing. Two cups of water and simple put in a veg stock all right and that's gonna definitely bring in the flavor what you're looking for the veg stock oh that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor and taste to it because put a little bit more pepper let me love my pepper all right a little bit more salt because of the water not too much. Lovely. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be blending this up and you know what I mean serve it up. Nice little soup, you know what I mean, to make when you're at home. Beautiful, look at that. It's amazing. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere and watch this lovely recipe. Nice and lovely guys, and basically as you can see, it has been boiling over the last good 10 to 15 minutes now on a medium size heat. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn off my stove and I'm going to blend it up. And honestly, it's going to be amazing. Beautiful one, look at those beautiful vegetables. You got all different kind of vegetables inside of it. You got celery, you got, you know what I mean? You got sweet potato, you got potato, you got carrot. Everything where you can name of is inside of it. So you got spinach. Sell off. It's only chef for Claudia I want to do this. Let's blend it and see what's the difference. Alright? Stay tuned.
lovely and nice guys honestly and i'm telling you this uh, you're definitely you guys definitely gonna love this one because it's something totally different from chef ricardo today you know what happened i never blend soup wow look at that amazing i just i love it ah what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to even go no more further with it. I'm going to serve it up just as it is. It's fantastic and an amazing. Stay tuned. Nice one. So I'm going to simple serve it up. All right, guys. One on the first. I don't want it to splash up and mess up the whole place. Gosh, you know. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is amazing. That is amazing, guys. Honestly, I love it. Look, look at the color and everything. And it's just a little bit of, honestly, um, leftover vegetable. I have leftover and I decide to use it up, guys. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's fantastic, lovely, and nice. All I'm going to do is just put some flat parsley in it for decoration. It is amazing. Look at the color. It's just leftover vegetable and I decide I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna make some soup with it and this is exactly what I get from it. Look at the result. It is fantastic and an amazing. You're looking very, very delicious. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna go straight inside of it now and have some beautiful soup for my dinner. Meat Free Monday. That's all we normally do it in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo. Stay tuned. I love every one of you. And don't forget to click in the notification bell and subscribe. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right. Once you have all of these kind of ingredients, this is what you need to do next. All right. Don't go anywhere. Still watch more video, guys. This is amazing. I love this, guys. Fantastic and an amazing. And you know what I mean? I know it was going to come out really lovely. Stay tuned. We Chef Ricardo.
Nice and lovely guys. So basically, after you finish eat and drink all of those soup and food and thing, it's good for you to drink something like this. All right, a nice glass of a cucumber water. You can put fresh mint if you like. All right, so I'm gonna put some cucumber into the water, just like this. And we're going to get a slice of a lemon. So you put some slices of lemon in the water like this. If you want, what you can also do, to be honest, you can put fresh meat, but I don't have any. All right, then. All right, guys. Tips and ideas for you, what you can do at home in this summer, all right? So if you have a boat and you know I mean you want to get something different, this is some recipe for you to do at home. All right. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show. We got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas, and a lot more things we're coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. So cucumber water with lemon is very good for you. All right. So yeah, why not try something different at home in this summer? All right. Stay tuned. I'll see you next time in the kitchen. And this is really good for you for detoxing your body. Stay tuned. Nice one. So blueberry water. Another way of where you can make yourself a nice lovely blueberry water. Alright, and you just simply get some fresh blueberry from your local supermarket. Squeeze it and put it straight inside of the water like this. So you're using some ripe blueberry. Nice one and simple. Let's get a nice lovely slices of lemon. And put it straight inside of the water like that. That is amazing. So if you have any fresh mint, also you can put peas inside of it. Let's add some ice inside of it. And that is a lovely blueberry water for you guys. It's tips and ideas from Chef Ricardo in the summer. You guys can definitely make these things in summer and enjoy the recipe thank you so much for watching chef ricardo show we got a lot more recipes a lot more ideas and a lot more things will be coming from chef ricardo and the team as you can see blueberry water from chef ricardo and i will see you next time bye bye